Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time is important to me as always. And what we're going to do in today's time is we're going to check out the new Ozark rig from Core Tackle. Uh, this is a new type of rigging system here that you guys can use on your creature baits, on flukes, just an endless variety of soft plastics. Pretty unique in design and we're going to take a closer look at it. Let's jump into it. So like I said in the intro, the new Ozark rig from Core Tackle. Let's jump into this. So what type of rigging system is this? You know, what's the deal with it? What makes it special or unique, I should say? Well, we'll just start off with kind of the basics. It's a straight shank hook design, as you guys can see. It is a four odd hook, and this particular one is three sixteenths ounce. It also comes in a one eighth ounce, I believe. But the connection system on it up here, and we'll see if we can zoom in on that. It is a horizontal line tie, as you guys can see there, and it's set at a 30 degree angle. And then at the front, in the rear of the line tie right here, I'll kind of zoom in on that and you guys can get a closer look at that. It has a keeper system for these baits. So I think what makes this bait unique, and I have, for example, the, the, the traditional belly weighted EWG, y, y gap worm hook. So I've got this, this traditional belly weight. And if you compare these two, you can see how the belly weight, it's a weight forward design. I mean, it has a weighted shank, but it's only about, hmm, not quite half of the length of it, and it's got most of the weight weight forward. So that bait, like on the traditional belly weight, and there's nothing wrong with this if that's what you're looking for, it's going to give it that head down drop. It's going to it's going to drop quicker and have a head down tail up drop to it. What makes the Ozark rig just a little bit different and a little bit unique, I think, is the weight is along the entire shank of the hook. So it's got this complete length of the hook shank until you start to get into the bend here, where this weight is and it's kind of evenly distributed. What difference does that make you say? Well, what it's gonna do, it's gonna let that bait glide uh, on the fall. And a lot of times it's those little subtle things, you know, it's, for example, when you're fishing a stick bait, like a Senko, um, you don't normally, I have better success with it, at least when it kind of has that gliding, hovering, wobbling fall to it, rather than that just straight drop. Um, so that's something that this Ozark rig is going to let you do. And we're going to get into how you rig it up. Okay, guys, I'm going to use this beaver style bait. You can use any type of creature bait that you want. You know, if you're pitching, flipping, punching, uh, it'll accommodate really any of them. But I'm going to use this one here. So first thing we're going to do is just rig this up like we normally would Texas rig. So I'm going to come right through the head of the bait here. But I'm going to go down a little bit further than you normally would, about maybe a quarter of an inch, a little bit further than that maybe. I'm going to pull this whole weight system through. And then what I do, I'm going to rotate, sorry, I'm going to rotate this around and punch this head out right here. And then when I get done with that, I'm going to go right up through the bottom like that right there. And now you can see there's kind of a channel in this bait that this, this hook point can lay in. And that's why I like those channels when they're embedded in. But that is the setup there for this um, Ozark rig. And it's... Uh, it's really sleek. It doesn't have a lot hanging down like if you do with the traditional. I'll grab it again here. I've got that belly weighted hook. You can see how much further out it sticks. So if you're fishing a lot of weeds, heavy cover and stuff like that, it wants to pick up a lot of debris. I don't think the Ozark rig is going to do that. I have uh, not personally fished this rig yet, but I think it's one that is going to be all that in a bag of chips as far as avoiding that heavy cover. And you can see right here, these two little end pieces right here, the little teeth we were talking about act as a bait keeper, and then you've got your horizontal line tie that's right here. Let's see if we can focus in there at the head of the bait. And it's kind of embedded in the plastic, which I like. So it's going to swallow up that line tie some um, if you do it right. And it's also going to swallow up uh, some of the knot. Once again, just to keep some of that debris and things like that. Um, if you fish heavy weeds, moss, junk uh, from getting caught on the bait. But that is how that Ozark rig is rigged up on that. And like we talked about, if you wanted to rig it up on a fluke, like this is here, it's got a very sleek design to it there with the fluke, but yeah, I think you're gonna get that same fall like you do on a hover rig. And if you wanna know more about the hover rig, I'm gonna have a video on that as well. Um, but this is a pretty versatile style hook and weight system I think you can use on a lot of different applications, just really limited to your imagination. So guys, one other thing I wanted to mention on this hover rig too, that's different from say, for example, uh, let me grab it again here in EWG is look how this, and I'll focus in here, look how this barb of the hook, the point of the hook is above the line tie. You guys can see that, how it's above the line tie. Look on the EWG hook, 
And you can see right there that the point or the barb is in line with the line type. What difference does that make, you ask? Well, sometimes none. But a lot of the times, I think it's easier for fish to get a hook set or get that bait in their mouth and you get a hook set, I should say, when that barb is a little bit above that line tie. Because a lot of times you guys know when you use an EWG, and I'm not knocking because I still use these hooks, I use them a lot, but that bait will ball up towards the bottom of the hook and I think you get a lot of pat plastic that balls up there and you don't sometimes get that solid hook set and you get a boat or you get a, you get a fish that's two or three cranks in on that hook set and moving towards a boat and all of a sudden it comes unpinned. And I think a lot of times that's why, because there's that, there's that ball of plastic that folds up down there. It does not do that as much when you're using something that has this offset hook point to the line tie. So just a little more food for thought. If you guys enjoyed this review video, I do a lot of other review videos on lures, rods, reels, boats, you name it. I've got to leave some links down in the description. I always enjoy checking out the new stuff. I'm excited to try out this new terminal tackle. Um, I'll do a video too on the hover rig and the touch rig. Um, a couple new ones for this season as well. If you got something out of today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, until that next video, get out there and fish.